Hello, friends, and welcome to this week's live stream. It's Tuesday. We're streaming. I like how we dance to that intro yeah. because we know there's music, although we personally cannot hear the music. It's just in our head. <laughs> yeah. So we could just be wildly offbeat. I am not sure. No, I got my, my hips down to it, I thought. I liked your moves. Yeah. I just can't tell you if your moves lined up with the music. I'm like that red velvet meme, right? You know, that it's a TikTok thing. It's a TikTok thing. I'm on TikTok now. Tyler is 30 years old and he knows everything there is to know about TikTok. <laughs> I am the target demo. <laughs> Um, hello everyone. I hope everyone had a great Monday, is having a great Tuesday, had a fun weekend. You're here now. Thank you for being here at our live stream. Um, we are also going to be introducing now and going forward an old tradition of ours, which is I like how it's hiding back here. Yeah. Like it's a big reveal. What an amazing reveal. <laughs> which is Mug of the day. Yeah. Or stream. Mug of the stream. We did this, yeah. You only see it really once a week, so it's more like mug of the week. We, we did this on our Instagram and on our members only YouTube live stream that happened a couple years ago. And we did not have this advance of a punch in. Look at that punch in. Look wow. at this. This is some action camera action. Action, yeah. Um, and it is from Solvang, California, as you just saw, which is Little Denmark. Yes, it is a, a small town. This mug is from a small town, kind of like near Santa Barbara, about a couple hours north of LA. And it is known as Little Denmark. It is Little Denmark. Yeah, it, it is Little Denmark. It's <laughs> just like a really small village. It's super cute. They have like a lot of Danish food, souvenirs, museums, shops, all of it. It's right, it's right there on the mug. I know. Yeah, they have the Hans Christian Andersen Museum. They got yes, it all. They, they got, got it all. Well, anyway. Um, Tyler picked this out. Yeah, Next was, week will be my pick. Okay, that was my pick. <laughs> so if you guys hate this mug, you can hopefully stay in the stream. Harass Tyler. You can harass me. Blame Tyler. You can at me <laughs> in the chat, anywhere you'd like, yeah. Yeah, um, we have had sort of a busy week, to be honest, because we are like filming a lot of stuff. Starting last Wednesday, so like a day after our last stream, we started filming like a block of of videos for our main channel. Um, so between what we filmed last week and what we're filming this week, we should have four videos filmed for the main channel. It's I think I put up three, but I meant four. Four. Right? Four videos filmed for the main channel. I did the horns. Yeah, no, it's been it's been pretty wild. My like uh, butt hip, like the, not my hip, butt but hip. <laughs> the back of my hip, right behind my, my well, my butt, um, has just been very sore because there's a lot of like filming just like standing like this. So if you guys see me- Tyler films like with his butt out like this. I know, I, I film like this. I like lean back. I actually can feel it when I do that right there. <laughs> so if you guys see me while we're messing with these easy bake ovens, shying away from my right hip, it's because my butt is sore. Yes, and also for those of you who think we've like completely abandoned our main channel forever, it's not the case. No. We've actually filmed a lot this week. Um, and there's, there's stuff, there's gonna be stuff to edit. It's coming. By next week, we're gonna have like a lot to edit. Arguably too much stuff. Arguably too much stuff. Um, um, yeah. So yeah, that's where we're at. That's our update. H how's the chat doing? Carly, how's everyone? They're good. I don't hear any buzzing this time. No oh. chatting of buzzings. There we go. Cool. That's amazing. Carly's <laughs> like, people hate your mug though, Tyler. They hate it. No. <laughs> oh no, they love the mug. Okay, cool. <laughs> there was a pause, a pregnant pause right there. <laughs> like, wow. Um, cool. Now that you mention it. Um, uh, Henny said it's giving strong Trixie Mattel vibes. Have you seen that video? Mm -mm. She did like a very old Trixie. She did like an old Easy Bake Oven video. Oh, like from the sixties. It was like expired food. Oh, that's amazing! Wow, that that's a better idea than ours. <laughs> but but on that note, yes, on that note, let's dive into what the stream is. Yes. So today we are going to be trying to bake with Easy Bake Ovens for the first time ever. Um, yes, as as Carly and the chat mentioned, this is not necessarily an original idea. Yes. Many people have had Easy Bake Ovens before. Many other channels have tried Easy Bake Ovens, but I never have. <laughs> as a child, I always saw like the commercials, like the 90s commercials for Easy Bake Ovens, and I always wanted one, but it was one of the toys that I was not allowed to have as a child. Most of those commercials from that era will haunt your dreams. Oh yeah, yeah they, just... they were really targeted. Yes, they were. No, they knew what they were doing oh, right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, bringing oh, it out, yes. punching in on that. Oh my God, Look yes, that, that is the commercial right there. I like the spotlights in the backgrounds. It's that like is... 
a Hollywood red carpet, but it's just the Easy Bake Oven. Dude, I yeah, the one that was like a square with like the pink and purple, yeah, that was the one. That was the one. I have I have a full disclosure here, guys, before we go further, um, is that I have... I guess tangentially done stuff with an Easy Bake Oven. That sounded weird. Um, I have been, my sister had an Tyler, Easy Bake Oven. Exposing and, yourself. No, I know, I wanted to just be, I, it's not for the first time. Sophia, it sounds like you've never, I've never. had one. Um, but my sister had one and I wouldn't say she consciously tortured me with it, but she was like, hey, like you wanna play with this Easy Bake Oven? And as a very little toddler with like sort of limited at the time, just like, you know, child motor skills, it was very hard doing anything with the batters. I had very little patience. I just wanted to watch Power Rangers, maybe Sonic the Hedgehog, the animated series. So um, I have done things with the Easy Bake Oven and I'm actually very excited today to come back and I don't wanna say conquer, but like with more cooking acumen. I feel deceived. I'm sorry. I'm like Ja Rule. <laughs> I've been hoodwinked, <laughs> deceived. In, in the context of the fire Festival? Yes. Okay, got it, okay. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, so we are gonna dive into just making a couple of different things with the Easy Bake Oven yes. today. As you can see by our things up here, oh, we're gonna that. be making a two-layer cake, which hand is which? This is the hand. Yes. A two-layer cake and also a cheese pizza. Um, the cheese pizza is really the wild card there because who knows what an easy bake oven cheese pizza is going to taste like. I mean, I, I, also the cake, but like the cheese pizza is a little bit alarming. I was going to do a hokey, but stick around on the stream to find out. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that is what we're doing today. We have these two. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. I'm actually very interested. It's a in, whole meal, a balanced yeah. meal. I'm interested in the cheese pizza also partially because like I ate the Lunchables pizza back in the day. It could be similar. Yeah, like things like that. So I'm, I'm ready to dive in. And I think that also, because we do have the baking dynamic, which are the bakes, the, the bakers, they are preheated so we can dive in, but there's yes. gonna be the cooking thing. So we have some, I guess, factoids that we can also use interstitially. I like interstitially. Like, yeah. yeah, the ovens are preheated. I just put my hand over it. It's not that hot, no. but yeah, they are preheated. We're eight plus. We, so, we're old enough to use these guys, yeah. I promise. I was not eight plus when I was doing this thing. That's what I was trying to explain, yeah. Um, yeah, and hopefully if it goes well, we can dive into more toys that I was not allowed to have as a child. That is a genre I'm very interested in exploring because I just want to buy myself toys from the 90s I wasn't allowed to have. Who doesn't? This is what happens when, when you deny children the toys they want. That's a very blank check of you. Yeah. The movie Blank Check where he gets a million dollars and he like oh. buys like a water slide and everything. That's me. I'm pretty sure Holly Berry's in that. I'm like just a little concerned when we get a text from my sister at some point. It's gonna be like, I did not do that <laughs> with you. All um, right, great. Yeah. So um, let's do it. So I think the way to do this in the stream is to essentially like alternate things. So like something's always in the oven. Um, I keep this one, this one, this one, um, this thing is like a two layer cake. So we have to make like two cakes to put on top of each other. So let's start off by like making the first cake of this. And then while that's baking, we can dive into the cheese pizza. Do you want, do you want me to take over the cheese pizza? Cause it's just on the right. No, I think we should do it together. Okay. okay. We can do it together. I think we should do it together. Okay. Tyler, when we, we took our marriage vows, they said, <laughs> <laughs> through good times and bad. What, what did we say in the vows? <laughs> I actually forget everything. Yeah. Can I have some? Yeah, you can have some from the Solvang mug. Okay, cool. We also Ooh. do have a little bit of a, like a cheat sheet with some of the instructions on it, just cause- They also have instructions inside. The idea of reading instructions on the fly to me is one of my greatest fears. Also, um, I realized I just kind of d dove into this with the assumption that everyone knows what an Easy Bake Oven is. What is an Easy Bake Oven, Sophia? An Easy Bake Oven, <laughs> in case you are just very disoriented, but you're still here, which if that's the case, thank you. Can I open this as we go? Sure, cool. yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, you can open it and Chris can watch you open it and I can just drone on underneath. Vamp for me. <laughs> <laughs> Vamp like one of your French girls. I was gonna say that too. Um, an Easy Bake Oven is essentially like a small semi toy oven. Like it's halfway between a toy oven and a real oven. Yeah. It is a oven that can actually bake things, but it is made for kids. So kids can like be beginner bakers and like make things on their own in a sort of mostly safe way. But you do cook things. Semi-safe. You do cook more things. More safe way. Yeah. But you do actually make things. Like yes. actually make food that is edible. Yes. So Whether this... it's good or not is a different question. Well, we're gonna find that out. If you stay in this stream, you're gonna find find out. Oh, anyway, so this is the Easy Bake Red Velvet Cake Mix, because this yes. one is called 
to intro our items, the red velvet and strawberry cakes refill mix. I will say they look very cute. They, they look like awesome. have two layers. They do look adorable. Look yeah, at that. two layers with frosting and sprinkles and everything. What are the little cakes that are at tea parties? What do we call those again? Petit fours? They're like petit fours right they there. They are kind of like that, yeah. except those are usually like frosted all the way those around. Those are delicious. Uh, Chris, you want to see this bad boy? This is... Look at that. Just plain packet. It's alarmingly unmarked, but if you <laughs> rack focus as it Chris It kind of doing, looks like one of those things that are like... Big red these are, cake you know, cakes. like like a silicone packet. Do not consume. They all like, those things that are in your pocket. Are they put in like packaging and stuff? That was actually a plot point in an episode of Seinfeld where they did like The Graduate where he's dating the mom, but it's like on speed dial and then she accidentally eats and she dies. It's actually a- Whoa, that really It's not that turn. dark in Seinfeld, but that's what happens. I don't know. All right. Chris chuckled, so I think he knows what I'm talking about. He he's nodding, he's laugh. nodding, okay? Tyler's <laughs> reference got one laugh. In the laugh. entire <laughs> chat, we got one laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Ty, so I think that yes. what we should start, the way this works is off my cheat sheet, yes. not the actual instructions, Yes. is essentially to make our red velvet cake, which is like the base cake of the two layer cake. We need one packet, yes. that, and then we add in four teaspoons of water, Okay. mix it together, and then shape it. Well, let's do it. And then we stick it in the oven for 16 minutes. I like how like the bonus instructions are sort of like a, is it an oath of no faith? Or is it, it's an indication of a, I'm not sure you, we could read this on the fly. So I'm gonna write this very simply and it's incredibly appreciated because <laughs> there should be no faith in my ability to read on the fly. Okay, I'm gonna open this thing, is that cool? That is, I, that's the next step. You want the action We're all rip? waiting on you to Do, open it. All right, sorry. Everyone's like, will you rip it? Do um, <laughs> you wanna see this or? It's yes. a, we can, we, do I, we wanna see it? Do we wanna build a snow, what? Okay, nope. here we go. Ready? Don't let Disney in. They'll take all, they'll take everything. <laughs> they'll take everything. You said a lyric in our song and now we own all of, we own your channel. Um, here you go. Oh so, wow, that is alarmingly not red. This is the red. red velvet cake mix? No, 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 but it could be like a chocolate thing, right? Because re red velvet is like a chocolate, isn't it? No. I don't even know. It, well, it, maybe, but it's just red. It is oh, red go. usually. Going in here. Yeah, just the whole thing. Oh, yes. it's a little pink. It is. No, it kind of looks like clay. It's got a tinge to it. Okay, so that is in and on the table. Hey, we've mentioned this in previous streams. We got this high mm. to be like a Food Network table. So, you know, it's getting its appropriate use, right? It smells good, actually. It smells kind of like Ovaltine. I do think we should, yeah, it does smell like Ovaltine. Hey, Seinfeld references going around the Does horn. Does anybody remember Ovaltine? Everyone remembers Ovaltine. Okay, good. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I, I am so old, nobody remembers anything I remember. Why don't they call it round team? Right? Because the, the, the container Is that a Seinfeld bit? That's are a you Seinfeld just, bit. Yeah, are I'm you stealing jokes right now? Regurgitating Seinfeld bits. Tyler Williams steals <laughs> Seinfeld jokes on stream. Why do you keep creating controversies for us? Nah, this is, gets the people going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so now we need four teaspoons of water into yeah. this bowl. Okay, where's the... Okay, we have water there. In our, oh, in our secondary mug of the stream, our grumpy mug coming in hot. Yeah, Tyler, I, I'm not trying to say this because I have any lingering resentment because I don't. Sure. But Tyler did break a grumpy mug that I got a couple of years ago. How? And then, you don't remember that? No, I don't. I think it's okay. It, it's, it's really not a big okay. deal at all. But this is the, the mug that we got to replace it because the grumpy mug that was broken did not, no longer was sold. This is a sexy mug. I mean, I it's like honest. also the biggest mug we have. It's, it's enormous, yeah. It is a barrel. Carly is not itself. That's Carly's like, that mug it. is enormous. That's why I picked it. <laughs> um, okay. All right, so here is one teaspoon of water. Okay. And um, easy bake expert. Oh my God! It turned a little red. Okay. It did turn a little red. Here, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Yeah. I'll give another. Get more in there? Yeah. Okay. Here, wait, ready? Here's one more. Easy ready? But yeah. I'm going to try and like make it stream that way. Uh, can you guys see that it's turning red? It, oh, it, yeah. yeah. Look at that zoom. Yeah. All right. Incoming. There is three teaspoons of water. Easy Bake Expert Carly said that we should add three teaspoons of water and then mix it together and then add the fourth one last. I can use a spoon. Yeah, is that is what the spoon is there for, man. Yeah, because apparently it's gonna clump a fair amount. I like how water activated the colorant was. No, it, it, it's cool. I mean, this is... And, and then suddenly it disappeared. This, you can kind of see it on the side. No, no, you can. This is smelling like some like Nesquik deliciousness. You wanna smell it? It smells like sugar. Oh, you know, it smells very good. Yeah, like sort of it like. It smells like um, the, just the powdered like Nesquik you would put into hot cocoa. Exactly. This is oh, the, no, the smell of my childhood. It kind of smells like Swiss Miss with marshmallows. That's S the best one. Swiss Mix with marshmallows. Oh yeah. Isn't it Swiss Miss? Is it Swiss Miss? 
Am I getting exposed right now? You're being exposed right now. All right, the chat's just gonna keep coming for my marking. Um, so putting that in. I like how you say that, but no one's even, <laughs> we don't even know. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, this fell on the table. I was like about to put it back in, no. Yes, okay, so it is clumpy. Is anyone coming for Tyler's Merkin, Carly? Not yet. <laughs> All right, good, my Merkin's safe. <laughs> Carly is like, for now. what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, um, so we put some in. I'm gonna put one more teaspoon in here as well, just to kind of keep it, I don't that, know, battery. It's, it's clumpy right now. That's an interesting situation there. What, the clumpiness? Yeah. Well, I think, yeah, see, I'm telling you, man, when I was a kid, I just remember this just endless mixing and doing stuff and light bulbs. I, I think it is just the truth of like any sibling duo that there is a time where the younger sibling is just the henchman. Well, I preloaded a story like, here. It's just like pinky in the brain. Like it is just the younger sibling is just like following you around because I'm an older sister this to a younger good. brother. And though we never had an easy bake oven, there was certainly a time where my younger brother was my henchman and would do my bidding. Yeah. That no longer happens. It's been a long time since that time, but like I would say when we were like eight and four, take that a, was the time. Take a look at this actually. This batter is really starting to Whoa. come together. So it went from clump factor to now batter yeah. factor in my opinion. Here. It looks quite good. You want to reposition it? Yeah. Yeah. Look uh, at that. No, it looks, it looks really good. Wow, Tyler, you did a great job. Uh, I'm actually, so I did have a preloaded story about the sibling dynamics, because it really <laughs> is similar to me. Like when I was growing up, like we had like a rule in the house, you could only watch one TV show a day um, during the week, and unless you watched it with the sibling, right? And my sister always watched Gilmore Girls, mm. because that was her ish, and I was like, can we watch I mean, something that's show. like a better cross section for the two of us? But so, no, she's the older sibling. The answer is no. So when we, when I was older and we started, Saf and I started dating, Saf was watching Gilmore Girls and I was like, this show haunts my dreams. But I have now watched it five times. You have succumbed to the Gilmore Girls agenda. <laughs> and it is excellent, yeah. This looks great. This it looks does look great. Kind of like um, somewhere in between like a spicy like gochujang paste or really thick ketchup. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is now ready to go, Sophia. Well, so what we have to do now is we have to Dole. Um, spray. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you forgot about this. Spray, lightly spray the baking pan with cooking spray. Ready? Canola. Is that light or is that not enough? I think that's, that's plenty. That's probably plenty. That's probably, that's going to be a moist cake. <laughs> <laughs> There's like some oil residue in the air. Hold on, hold on. Carly is pantomiming that we Too spread much. it out, yeah. Yeah, like on the side. Okay. <laughs> oh, spread it out. Yeah, I'm down in that our green room here. Sense. All right, while you're while you're down down there. Yeah. Um, yes, no, Gilmore Girls, I mean, Gilmore Girls is like my favorite show of all time. Yeah, it's good. I, I Gilmore Girls is like, I put it on in the background and pretend I am part of the Gilmore family. You are in Stars Hollow, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so now that we have our batter all like whipped up, and we have our canola oil spread now onto our little pan. I think that what we lit what we do is we take this and we dole. Should we do an action yeah, dole? Yeah, you're supposed to spoon the the batter into the pan. Yeah. Do you need a second? Do you need an assist? Maybe. Oh, no, you got it. Yeah. Look at you. Shimmy that spoon. What am I? Shimmy that spoon. What am I? A Food Network star here? I mean, basically. Check me out, Giada and Bobby Flay. Don't at me, <laughs> Giada. <laughs> Yeah, no, I am, I'm coming for your clout, Gianna and Bobby. I'm coming for her mozzarella. Mozzarella! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. People are like, what Italians is this? Italians in the chat, don't eat me alive. Yeah, what is this it's just It's very funny when Giada is just speaking sort of like in her normal speaking voice and then pops out with the strong Italian accent. Yeah. I th yeah, no, it, it is, every time she does it, you're like, whoa, <laughs> whoa! that was well pronounced. <laughs> um, no tea. No shade, is that what we say? No tea, no shade? Or? Don't say that. It okay. makes us seem really old and out of touch. Uh, TikTok <laughs> uh, is a four syllable word. Um, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, so now I go in here and I'm gonna try to get this to spread. Do I spread this or is this yes. gonna cook? Okay. No, you should um, You should have to spread it evenly. Okay, evenly. This is, oh, I really, it I hate this. It yeah. kind of looks like we made like very upsetting slime. Yeah, well then we, oh, we're going for that slime market here, people. Okay. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Is that a thing still? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so coming in here. Is that enough? Do you want me to get some of the extras off the side? No, no. I think we haven't. We almost have too much. I'm trying to get it into these corners. Why do here. I look so disheveled? 
Why are you so disheveled? Did you go I down into the green room? I didn't. <laughs> the green room being defined as just under this table. It's just we have like all of our bonus goodies, our props, et cetera. See, this is, I'm having the same flashbacks when I was a kid. I just, I'm not great at spreading things. And I know we have a pizza one, which will have pizza dough. And pizza dough is a nightmare to me because it just sticks to everything. What's happening here? Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> Do you want me to try? You try. Okay. You have the expert. I don't motor skills. actually. I actually don't. I just feel like you know maybe you just need a break. Yeah, you, you just. It you, is possible that we over oiled this pan. You think? Wouldn't that help it be spready? No, I think because it's. It's sticking to the oil. No, it's sliding, so it won't. Oh. It won't stay in one spot. Come on, batter. Uh, while we are uh, spreading, Carly, what do people think of our easy bake ovening skills? Are they just mortified? I like how we haven't shown any <laughs> skills at all, and we're like, how? What are people thinking? What about do they this? think? Yeah. Uh, Manuela said that she blames easy bake oven for her love of baking, but also her laziness. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Manuela has uh, a different experience than me because it mortified me of baking. But you know, I. What does that mean? What mortified me? Like, I mean, I was just scared of baking. Ter I was, terrified you? Yeah, is mortified not work there? Mortified means you're like embarrassed. Okay, it, 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 it shell shocked me. <laughs> it veered me through. Traumatized. Clear, traumatized. You. I do like cooking though, so I'd like to become a better baker. How do we feel about this? Yeah, that's, let's try that. Look at that. Not the worst? Not yeah. the best. That's not so bad. I think we should just go with it, Sophia. All right, yeah, I think we should probably move yeah. on. Yes. All right, ready? Okay. Now, here's the hard part, okay? We have to um, put that pan halfway into this oven. Yeah, where the light bulb is, right? Yes. It's well, a light no, bulb. I think that it's now no longer a light bulb. No? No, but we have to put this like halfway into this, uh, this warm oven. All right, here, ready? Yeah. And then there's a little notch. You'll see it in a second. Oh, it's gonna come into frame. So I push it. Yeah, and you have to put it, push it through until this hits the thing. Yeah. And I think that's that's about right. Yeah. Right? Look at this. It's got that little notch right there. You can kind of see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so that is cooking now. Yes. All which right. means... Yeah. You wanna, you wanna... No, go for it. Okay, which means we can move on to our pizza. Yes. I have. I do have a spatula of red red velvet batter. Should I try it? Are you, wait. Uh, is it have any like raw eggs? And I don't think it would. Yeah, let's just go. I for feel it. like let's... I I feel like if it's like a kids, it's it's no. I actually don't think so because it's just like a pre made mix plus water. Did yeah. you put eggs in? No, no eggs went into this. Oh, that's gonna taste good. It has. Has anyone ever made like homemade play doh? You make it with like salt, you know what I'm talking about? Oh no. wow, you licked that thing clean. Oh, I thought that's what we you were doing. You made short work of that. I thought that's what we were doing. Um, it kind of tastes like halfway between Play-Doh and Ovaltine. How much childhood toys have you eaten? Probably all of them. <laughs> between, we, we were doing a video that involved some wax. I don't want to spoil which video it is, but there was wax involved. And Sophia was like, I, I eat candles, night. blah, blah, blah. I eat candles. So I'm like, okay, so Safi ate candles. Now maybe you ate Play-Doh too. Dude, no, I I actually was a notorious candle eater. <laughs> notorious to you. Anyone in the chat relate? <laughs> Anyone relate to being a notorious candle eater? People are like, unsubscribe. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. So that's in. We kind of have a feel going there. Uh, I believe Carly is also our spotter in terms of the timing. Yes. All right, cool. Great. Great. Um, so in a few minutes, we'll take this thing out. But in the meantime, we're going to be making a pizza. Yeah. I like how earlier I said this was a balanced meal. Oh, yeah. But it only is in the sense where, like, when you you see, like, you know, at the end of a sugary cereal commercial, like, yeah. part of a balanced breakfast. That doesn't mean anything. And it's like this, like, the cereal offset by, like, five eggs yeah. and a whole thing of orange juice cool. and a bunch of fresh fruit. And it's like, you can only eat this if you counteract it in every aspect. I think this is Friday sleepover meal. Okay, if you have a little that's cake, true. you have a little pizza, that's all good to go. I mean, I used to eat like a Costco's box worth of food by the foot at times. So I think, you know, like, it was like a- That's a impressive. Two for 12, I think was reasonable. They would have 36 in them. Um, so why don't we keep those ones over there so we don't cross contaminate our like packages. You know what I'm saying? All right, then you they're not out. well marked. Um, no shade too easy bake oven, but they're just, they all look exactly the same. Okay. All right, ready? So yes. to make the pizza dough, yes. you have the pizza dough packet. Do, that looks pizza dough mix, this just happens to be in my hand right now. All right, right so we are going to put that in here okay. with one tablespoon of water. Tablespoon. And then, yeah, we're the gonna- TBS. 
That's very that's Staples Center. Am I wrong? There's also like a broadcasting company, but let's move on. It, it is, yeah. Okay, ready? You guys want to see this dump? Here we go. And, oh yeah. Come on. That looks nearly identical to the, the, the red velvet mix. You think? I mean, if I look up close, I can see the difference. But they're all sort of just like weird freeze-dried pre-mix flowers. I'm having a hard time with this. No, actually. not actually freeze-dried, but they, they, they could all, be. They're kind of just like that, you know, like ready-made food. They're deep packaged. There's, oh my god! Sorry, I, I, it was not a serious drop, but I did drop it in to the thing for a second. Okay, all so right, now one tablespoon. tablespoon of water. Okay, here we go. All right, if you want to draw attention, this is a little Easter egg. If you guys want to see it on this spoon. Actually, there's a little bit of uh, yellow, and I believe this is from when we did our mixing all the lush bath bombs together. There's a little bit of powder still on it, oh which my God. never will come out. Are you sure? Yeah, I, it's it's there. Are you? I, it looks like it's just faded. Should we be away. eating that? We're not going to talk about Are it. Are you sure? It's going that's... into the oven. It's going in the oven. Oh, wait, never mind. It's a fake Easter egg. Um, anyway, so it might just be the labeling system. It could be, but maybe as, a little bit more. As we often say, don't do anything we do ever. I'm oh, sorry little... for micromanaging. No worries. No, actually, I, that's that's a good call. Yeah, it wasn't like I'm gonna put a little extra in. I'm gonna put a little extra in. Okay, cool. And then you don't usually work in like I, I don't usually work at least in like tablespoons of water. No, I feel like it's usually like cups. Cups of water. Yeah. Cups is more my speed, but this is an easy bake oven. You never use an easy bake oven. You're right. So I'm hey. the noob. <laughs> okay, what do we do now? Do I just mix it? I gotta yeah. Make the batter? Mix the batter. Make the pizza dough, right? Oh wow. This actually has a bit of like a garlicky scent to it. Maybe like a, maybe it's just yeasty. Seriously. It smells pretty good. It smells vaguely like alcohol. Give me another sniff. Sniff it. It's definitely not alcohol. Just I, I don't know. It's a child's toy. <laughs> You're skeptical. Well, no, I don't, think, I don't think there is alcohol in there. Yeah. But don't a lot of alcohols have like hops and stuff they do have hops you're right They're which just, isn't that like a wheat product it's, i feel like they're often wheat adjacent barley yeah yeah no, so I, that maybe that's what i'm smelling yeah just, i'm smelling whatever yeah rising agent is in there piecing it all oh yeah there is ye yeasty we're talking yeast here baby we're talking mountain dews baby i'm talking about mountain dews baby um okay mixing this together oh yeah show that looks like literally like rice krispies you think yes Oh, here, here, yeah. The, the challenge is to mix and not just fling all over the table. We might need more. You think we need more water? I don't know. I would say try and maybe get some, like maybe like knead it. I'm kneading. I'm kneading. Here. That's a good point. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's starting to come together. Oh, I, it is? I know what you're saying. Do you want to put a little bit more water in? Maybe you just have a little bit of a watery crust in, in worst case scenario. I don't think that there's any, this is easy bake, okay? This is not My thought is like, baked. can we just see how much like literal Rice Krispie treats it looks like? Yeah. Not Rice Krispie treats, Rice Krispie cereal. You're going with the OG. Look at that. Rice Krispies. There you go. We just what? like a half teaspoon, Sophia, or a quarter teaspoon even. Just a little something. Uh, a little something, something. I'll do a half teaspoon. And then I would like. You want to use your hands? Do you, want, do you want me to use my hands? Or do you want to use your hands? I'll go in hands first. That's what I think we should do. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Is, is that what it says? What does it say in its little thing? Maybe I should, you know what? I'm not going to go hands first off. It's it says stir and press the mixture together until you form the dough. I don't think I'm and pressing it. And then it says use your hands to shape the dough into a ball. You know what? I was wrong. I can use my hands. I'm just a little bit nervous this can get stuck to my hand like crazy. There's I just put, like, a flower down there. For yeah. That. You want to grab the flour down there so I, it doesn't just go crazed under my fingers? Yes. Yeah. Also, what are we doing? How are we doing with the cake, timing-wise? It's been there for like a couple minutes. What do I do? Just like throw some in? No, no, no. You're, on yeah. his oh, my hands. Oh. My hands. Yeah. <laughs> just add some to the mixture. <laughs> now I'm just covered in flour. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. One second here. Let's, uh, I, I still can't really get it fully Here, I'll not get in there. Flaked. Yeah. So I got to kind of like chalk my hands like a gymnast. Exactly. Right? Yeah, okay, no, great. Yeah, you're going full Simone Biles here. Right? Oh my god. Oh, actually, I think I am kind of getting it right now. Is the chat just mortified by my ability to make dough right now? Are they just like, you don't know what you're doing. You want to go in? Here. Go I'm coming. It. Yeah. Go in for Ooh. it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually working. You got to get those, like, the, the little the gaps in it going. Yeah. 
Oh, mm -hmm. caffeinated violets said to use cooking spray on your hands. Oh, that so the be... opposite of flour. Well, we've already gone in. I think we're gonna just ride it. I think, oh, Saf, you got it, you got it. Um, cooking spray, like to make it moister, right? Yeah, and also I guess it wouldn't stick to your hands. Probably because Tyler had dough literally stuck to every part of his hand. Yes. <laughs> so that would make sense. Going off of the Food Network star structure, that would be a tip. Yes. And uh, we're not the ones issuing tips here. Uh, we, we need tips, but Decaffeinated okay. Violet gave us a tip. It's a good tip. Steal yeah. that tip right, right from Decaffeinated Violet. I'll just reframe it. When we, if this was edited up, here's a tip for you. When you want to make your pizza dough, you might want to put some spray onto your hands because it will stick to everything otherwise. I'm right? So that's me just repackaging the tip. Oh, this looks good actually. You want to go to an action shot on Sophia's hand? Because we're getting some Play-Doh vibes down here. It's not the worst. There is a pizza place in my hometown, uh, I'm going to name drop them, called Bertucci's. And what they do is that for kids, they give them pizza dough to play with. Oh, like that sounds so fun. In the place, yeah, and they got excellent pizza. But I'm just saying, Bertucci's, they have the, the, the pizza dough factor. It's they fun. just want to see the world burn. <laughs> Every mom exits with like pizza dough ingrained into their hair forever. That could be true, but I think it's the, they want to distract the kid. It's like the uh, the drawing mat. Remember those things? Do you think things? this is too dry? Can I just get like, give me like yeah, a water right a there. A lot of people are saying to add more water. Right. Yeah. A lot of people. You've spoken. Here we go. Into the hand. Yeah, there you go. Let's get, let's get a little more water in there. Oh, I feel like I'm working with clay. Yeah, give me, just right onto it. People are going, listen, I'm an easy bake oven expert. I designed this packaging. You need more water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's the thing, easy bake. If you need more like a tablespoon and a half of water, could have given us the heads up. Or maybe like I just didn't dole it out correctly or something, I don't know. All right, Tyler, the, the instructions are right here. Okay, what do they yes. say? This is my fear, I have to read it, read as I it's go It's after here. number two. Number two? You mean number three? Oh, uh, here the uh, dough. Yeah. <laughs> you, right. you, it's, it's the thing after two. Okay, split the dough into six equal, equal pieces, roll each piece into a small ball. All right. Oh, wow. This is a small ball to split into six. Yeah. Are we ready for this? Oh, we're going like bagel bite size here. But it will spread. Ooh, all right. All, all right, right, that's, that's two. two. Did I read that right? Yeah, that seems right. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. To make six, I have to split these both into three. Does this have to be... Uh, uh, oiled? Oiled. Does this one have to be oiled? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ty, will you do me a favor? I, yeah, will right. you oil this while I all split? Right. Uh, Seuss Chef Tyler over here. Coming in hot with the canola spray. Maybe. Canola. Are you, wait, are you waiting for me? No, I'm not at all. all. Right, cool, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay? It just sprayed up. It almost hit me in the face. Just, here we go, come in over here. I feel like that would be bad. I, I don't know if it would really matter, but it could go up my nostrils. Yeah, spread that out. Listen, this is an action shoot, people. Here we go. Are we, are we good on the, uh, this guy? The, 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 the cake? I have no perception of time and space right now. Yeah, you right still now. have five minutes. Okay, well, I'm like way off. Carly's All right, Carly's like, ready we're like for halfway some, through. From some little baby. For a second. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I'm gonna be the, I have to calm down. I can't be the, I'm the sous chef here. I'm the balance, I'm the, I'm supposed to be the calming agent. All right, ready for some <laughs> little guys? One baby, two. They kind of look like This one's puppies. a little bit bigger. Oh, sorry, <laughs> this next no, one. hold on, you can arrange them like this, you see? What do you mean? Like so that you oh, can, oh, yeah, oh, right? I see. Three so by like three. they're okay, okay. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, not just in one giant line. That would make a lot more sense. Yeah. Wait, so are we making Oh, oh my, are these gonna all turn into little pizzas? They're like little bagel bites. Oh my god. Push them down too. Oh, we gotta push them down. Like into discs. Flatten each As ball of dough a like a pancake and shape it into a circle. Do you want to? I I, I can help. What do you think? Will you have should I put flour on my hands before I do this? I don't think I take it matters. The okay. I, I promise you it doesn't matter. Right. They're not that sticky right now. Oh yeah, this is actually, this is good, this is good. I do feel like I'm conquering some of my fears of dough right now. Do you have dough fears? I, I, I tried to explain that. Was my story in the beginning of this so incoherent? I have like <laughs> serious dough anxiety. I don't well, like, it I, stresses me out, it sticks to everything. I just really don't like dough. I understood that you were afraid of the easy bake, but I didn't understand that it was just like a general dough fear. Well, to this day, listen, we baked a lot of cakes 
on not this channel, but on the Sophia Nygaard channel and on the Tyler Williams channel. We've baked a lot of cakes. That's true. We baked um, a Franken cake, which was 40 cakes. Yes, we did a lot of cake. Also bacon. a ketchup and mustard cake. The one nice thing about the cakes on the Franken cake video is a lot of them are like pour cakes. You just pour it in, whatever. Yeah. But when it comes to like taking batter and spreading it, I don't like that. It really freaks. It just, it just, there's like that stick factor. It's kind of like, you know, you're like trudging through a swamp, you know? Yeah. I was just watching a review for a video game I've never played. Um, it's got the guy from uh, uh, The Walking Dead. I don't know what it's called. It's but th there's this thing where you start walking and like this like goo starts grabbing you and it just oh my god I don't like that. I can't. So how do you feel about the Pillsbury Doughboy? He's fine. You just touch his stomach and he goes woo. You know. Okay, so that's he doesn't freak you he out. He doesn't. No, no, no. I that's like the Pillsbury Doughboy. That's not for you. <laughs> I like Pills. Uh, P uh, Pillsbury Doughboy. P D B. <laughs> Pillsbury Dough. P B D B. <laughs> <laughs> He's my guy. So it's specifically right. sticky dough. Yes. All right. How does this look? What do we think? They're really cute. They are adorable. They do not look great. Yeah. But they look cute. All right, are we ready to insert this bad boy? Actually, you have to do the rest of it. Oh. Oh. Yes, it we have to cook the cheese. Oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ready? So we're gonna just make really tasteless cookies. Um, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so what's next? All right, so to make the sauce, um, take one of these smaller bowls here. Have, how about this one? Have this one. I feel like with how much baking I've done on my channel. I think I you feel have like to do the glaze first. Glaze? Okay, the glaze. Where's the glaze at? Uh, what do you need? I don't know. This guy? Give this guy, one. you want that guy? Oh, sure. <laughs> sorry. Did I ruin everything? No, no, no. Okay, yeah. I have one, two, Three. Okay, incoming. One, two, three. One, two, three. Or are these supposed to be the sauce and the glaze? Those are just more, more things. I think that we're just, we're just window dressing here. <laughs> we got a little bit of everything going on on this All table. Right. So let's turn, we need to make sauce, cheese, and glaze. Okay. So I, I will make the cheese. All okay. right, cheese later. Here's the marinara mix. Marina, marinara mix. Here's the garlic herb cheese mix. Okay. And then this is, that was more pizza dough. Yeah, they gave a second one in. Okay, I was like, Cause, you know why I know why? Because they know people mess it up. <laughs> and then this is the egg wash. Okay. Here, Ty, give us, give us a little peek. Okay. You want this uh, really aesthetic, unmarked bag. I like how we're like trying hard to get B-roll oh, shots yeah. of just completely, like just generic bags. Yeah. I like how one of your nails just had like dough under it. <laughs> Sorry. What's, at least in this case, you have a perfectly fine excuse. What's under your nails? It's dough. Okay, cool. This is, I'm doing marinara mix. Uh, do we have, where's the, where's the cheat you? sheet? I think it's time to take the cake out. Oh, is it? Oh, all right, Okay, time. here we go. Do you want, would you want to start doing that? I'll, I'll start doing yeah, this. Yeah, okay. You got to place it in. I, I want to, oh, so wait, did you? Push it. Okay, yeah. Further. This the way? The other way. Okay, this way. <laughs> okay, here I we like go. how we have no idea how to use these things. Yeah. Okay, here, ready? Okay, and I push it in all the way to the ending thing, right? Like mm -hmm. to here? Yeah. Cool. I like how this thing is literally called the Easy Bake Oven. And Carly's like, no, no, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you're doing and this. we <laughs> adults cannot figure it out on our own. No, yeah. Well, hey, listen, it's the- Does, Do we have to take it out from there? Or it's five safe? minutes. Five minutes cooling. Five minutes cooling. I picked that much up from our pre-production meeting. <laughs> um, cool. All right, now I'm gonna make the cheese in this bigger one. Yeah, okay. Where do I, you oh, remember my marinara sauce. Yeah, here, I'm back over here. Cool, all right, so, sorry, I went over there originally to get the, uh, <laughs> the, the cheat sheet here. Okay, one packet, uh, one and a half teaspoons of water. Now, I feel like with the amount of baking and cooking on my channel, on YouTube, everyone must be like, wow, they must edit that a lot. Have Jeez, you guys? Idiot. <laughs> I was gonna say, have you guys smelled this cheese? <laughs> this is a very upsetting smell. All right, bring it on here. This is a smell test, people. We, we had a smelly cheese candle recently, so. Yes. That smells like the Kraft macaroni and cheese bag. Yes. And where you say, have you smelled it in a horrific manner, I like that smell. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with it. You know what, you're right. It does kind of smell like a sharper version of like sort of macaroni and cheese, which is another powdered cheese. Annie's? Is that what it's called, Annie's? It does kind of smell a bit like the Annie's mac and cheese. You know what happens though every time I make Annie's mac and cheese is that I'm not a good, again, with the mixing of the dry stuff into things, I often get chunks of cheese in there and then I just have that you know, wedged in my mouth and it's not that pleasant, I gotta be honest. I, I feel like it seems like you just run into so many obstacles. <laughs> People are like, you're an idiot. <laughs> and that's the only take from the chat and Carly's like, yeah. 
That's what they're shouting. <laughs> um, all right, so now I need a teaspoon and a half for my cheese. Okay. Are you ready to see this powdered, dehydrated cheese come back to life in the most miraculous way? Yeah. This is a different take on Frank and, Frank and baking. As they said in the 1994... This is reanimating uh, dead cheese. As they said in the 1994 Mortal Kombat live action movie, they said, you must fight Sub-Zero with the element that brings life. And in this case, it's water, bringing life back to this dehydrated cheese. Yeah. Okay. I watched that episode of Dead Meat this week, so I don't want me to say. Um, no, sorry, I'm not, I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to undermine your reference. I'm just very taken aback by whatever is happening here. Yeah, this crystallized cheese in there. Oh, I like how they included some, what look like almost like garlic bits in there. Yeah, it, there's some, some, herb, some herby looking things. Those are upsetting. Uh, oh no. Do you guys want to see this marinara go in? Yeah, I want to First see off, it. First off, what is dried powdered marinara? It's, 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 is it related to tomato paste at all? It could be. Um, it does seem a little bit shocking. This is like the Swiss Miss, or Swiss Mix, whichever one it is, of marinara. Incoming. Okay, chat, back me up. It's definitely Swiss Miss. It, well, the yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Swiss Miss? Swiss Miss. Okay, got it. Like got it. Swiss maiden. Swiss maiden. <laughs> yeah, milkmaid. Okay. Swiss it. miss. You're a, a miss from Swiss. Switzerland. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. <laughs> um, okay, is this cheese? Why don't I know the name of anything, by the way? I just, okay. Uh, one packet, one and a half teaspoons of water. Okay, cool. Coming back over here. Are we getting the action shot? Is it nice. cheese? Or is it Dancer? Uh, it's definitely Dancer. Um, what on earth was You would that? not be able to get away with even cheese product with that bad boy. It kind of looks like um, congealed cheese whiz, spray cheese. Here we go, that's one and a half. It's so sharp. It's so sharp. It also kind of smells like maybe, perhaps, oh. what they, oh, go you for know, it. You oh finish, my you God. Finish your thought. You finish your thought, I'll just, we'll just you vamp. Well, uh, oh, wow. you get the shot, Chris I, I looked up, I saw the marinara, things started happening, whoa. Yeah, what were you saying, Zoff? I was just saying that like my, you know, powdered garlic and herb cheese almost smells like perhaps what they put on like sour cream and onion Pringles. Oh yeah. But then we wet it and turned it into a paste. It's just like they're just taking that factory that makes all of these things that have these flavored pastes. Like in this case, mine could be like the Pringles pizza flavor, right? And they're like, we have any left over? Okay, if we put some water in it, we can just put that on a pizza and tell kids that they're baking. All right, this is my cheese. I'm done. I'm gonna make the egg wash now. That looks like a very sad half a spoonful of mashed potatoes. That does not <laughs> look like cheese. That's not cheese. I don't think it's cheese. Well, as we said in the in our uh, very astute killer's reference, is it human or is it dancer? I mean, it it is it is dancer. It's dancer. Yeah. So what can we say here? All right, so t that is an interesting situation there as well. Am I? Yeah. I, I really think that, I think that just based off of nothing, just Ooh, my yeah. own guess, I would say that Easy Bake probably has more general success with like sweet things, just because they're less upsetting in like a sort of more basic form versus like powdered marinara, powdered cheese. I'm not sure I'm into it. I feel like you're you're judging the Easy Bake Oven by its cover right now. You think this is gonna be good? <laughs> well, actually, it's not the cover; it's the insides of it. Um, no, I I don't think it's gonna be good. But I think that we do want to maintain some element of benefit of the doubt. Maybe it could be tasty. This smells, though, just for the record, exactly like any version of airplane pizza, which is not good. It here's, is here's artificial and crazy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Here's Here the egg wash. As soon as you guys cut away from it, I was ready. Wash it. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Why that, is it so yellow? It is pretty yellow right there. Why is it? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> I loathe so many things about you. Easy to oven, off, egg wash. First of all, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, are we good on the cooling pizza too? You oh, mean yeah, the cooling done. cake? Yeah, it's, it's done? Okay, yeah. cool. Here but we go. why don't we put this it in first? It can also stay in there for however long. We're gonna leave it in there. We're just gonna leave it in and back away. There's just so many things going on right now, I feel like, in this stream. Okay, here's what we should do. Talk to me. Will you take over the egg wash from me? Yes. It just needs two tablespoons of water. Tablespoons? I will double check. TBS, TBS? <laughs> Yeah, two tablespoons. All right, tablespoons oh, coming in. And what I'm going to do, which over? is one of the more upsetting things I've ever had to do, okay. is put my cheese paste into a Ziploc and cut off the tip so we can ice these pizzas like tiny cupcakes. Okay. With cheese paste. Yes. 
my cheese-esque paste, right? Because we want to keep it as away from the cheese the, adjacent. Yeah. Almost cheese. We want to keep it as as far away as possible from the fine word of cheese. And when I say cheese, I mean C-H-E-E-Z-E -E -E asterisk. <laughs> Double asterisk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if we're 100% fresh beef, asterisk, asterisk. If we're playing by McDonald's rules. Yeah. Okay, so the egg wash. You know what? I was going to wear my Gudetama shirt today, and I feel like this would be a great time to have it on. Kind of right? looks like a ramen seasoning packet right it now. It does. What's up? Okay, here we go. I'm going to mix this guy in. Are we, which one are we go into here? Oh, Soft's bag probably is the more interesting of these two, frankly. Yeah, that is upsetting. Oh, oh. That's horrifying. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a horror movie. Don't you want to eat that? Oh, it's a horror movie. This started off wholesome. Now we're here. <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> now we're in hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, listen, hey. I don't know what mine is actually. Mine is, I was gonna say, hey, we're just making things, but this thing looks. Whoa, that is not also marinara sauce? It looks like baked beans, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right. Um, just a little bit. Yeah. What I'm gonna you cut doing? the tip off this thing. You're piping? No, I'm not gonna pipe yet. I, this is, goes on last. Okay, sorry. I'm just, I'm just overly excited. I'm just excited to be here, right? Great. This is, uh, do we have a little brush for our egg, uh, egg wash? Set to use finger. It's a, it's, I'm supposed to use my finger? Yeah. Like wow. Children. It's for, yeah, it's a, it's a toy for kids. Ty. Where's my brush? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my William Sonoma collab brush? Oh, uh, Myra says I'm begging you to warn them that the dough is too thick. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. All right, Myra says the dough's too thick. Myra, with the assist. All right, shall I press it down more? Well, here's the question Is Myra friend or foe? <laughs> Maybe Myra is just instigating right now. Well then... Oh, a lot of other people are saying it now. <laughs> Myra okay. has been exonerated <laughs> from our impromptu witch hunt. <laughs> uh, no, it's all good. It's all, all good. All right. Thank you, Myra. Things are being flattened. Yes. Yeah, this, this pizza is really going to be questionable. No, it's going to be delicious. This pizza, I am questioning everything. John's Pizza on Bleecker Street, we're coming for your Merkin. <laughs> If you, it's just I like amazing. how coming for your wig is such an old saying that it is certainly out of fashion, but because coming for your Merkin was never in fashion, yes. we kind of just still say it. I like coming for a Merkin. I think that it probably alienates- Our, our communal Merkin? We have one Merkin, no. Our collective Merkin? <laughs> I think it probably alienates 10% of our viewers. They're just like, these people are weird. Okay, And the other 90% don't know what it means. So <laughs> that's why they are not upset about oh, it. Oh, no, 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 hold on. There is some percentage that knows is both mortified, but is okay with it. <laughs> Moves on. Moves on. Pretends not to hear. I just kept on living my life. Dear chat, does that feel better or worse? I, I think it's good. <laughs> I mean, I guess it can't get worse, <laughs> right? Dear, dear chat's like our live stream equivalent, equivalent of Dear Diary. <laughs> dear chat. Dear how, chat. How do we feel about this? Okay, cool. Dear I feel like Reginald. This is as egg washed as I think oh. we can go. We've talked about this. We were gonna, we could call this a glaze. We don't think there's any real egg in there. So we think we're decently salmonella free on this bad boy um, because it's an eight plus toy. It's not a 18 plus toy. I don't know when they would start saying it's like allowed to let, let kids like play with salmonella. But anyway, so um, <laughs> I, I agree. You know, I think that we should be okay. We do have sanitation wipes, but I think that we can. We can My hands are pretty clean, but I'll do it. All okay. right. Anyway, so. I mean, it's not like we've been really good about keeping anything else clean at all, ever. No. Ow! I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> That's a dangerous green room down there. I'm good. On the way back up, just bumping your... You know what? That is the one downside of the higher table. You you know? just, you're not sure where it is going to be. Exactly. Uh, all right. Although, if it was lower, you would hit it faster. All right, ready? Yeah, I'm going to so. dip my finger into the wash. Is that what's, is that what's next? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I've been overruled. <laughs> <laughs> Myra, come get this man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? And I just kind of go like this, right? Yeah. How do we feel about that? It looks, it does look like a sugar cookie. Right? Like a, yeah, no, it's good. Okay, everyone's nodding, right? Everyone's yeah. nodding. We're all nodding. All right, yeah. I'm going to do it, the rest of them. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so if the cheese is applied with, with a Ziploc bag, like piped on, how do we apply the marinara? It just says to spoon it on. I will spoon. spoon. My spoon is not too big, and I will come in. That's sorry. I always reference whenever I hear spoons, I think of rejected video, which is like a really OG YouTube video. Me There's too. A spoon that is too big. But anyway, so uh, it's like a salad fingers era thing. Um, but uh, I do have a spoon, and I will spoon this guy in. Spoon this man. <laughs> man, um, this is a spoon. 
Um, also, regarding the red velvet cake, Sophia, do we want to jump back into this at some point? Because yes. we still have a second cake to make. I think that we should just put this in the put this. We should put this in the oven and then move on. Put a button on this pizza. Yes. Okay, here we go. Just put an end to our misery, and then move on. Listen, I know what you're thinking, people. Is this marinara sauce incredibly pasty and probably disturbing? Yes. Is it going onto our pizzas? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it, it's not coming off my spoon right now. Do you Hold need on, a second I, spoon? I got, I got second, second spoon. Second spoon assist? Yeah, yeah here we go. Oh, and dole, dole. It's so pasty. It's so I pasty. I don't. Oh my God, Tyler, that's not the that's right a, amount. That's like a third of the marinara. Oh <laughs> my God. That's not the right amount. <laughs> Listen, that's not right. hey, 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 hey. All right, you're right. This is all about easy baking here, okay? I'm gonna let you, let you go. We're all having a good time, okay? <laughs> Chat's like, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> no, Tyler's disturbed. having a good time. <laughs> Tyler's the only one. This stream can be renamed Tyler Conquers Fears, fails miserably. <laughs> <laughs> Local man attempts to bake small pizza, fails. <laughs> Is arrested for his crimes. Tragedy strikes. <laughs> Raleigh's like, I, we know you moved here. But can you leave? Can you please leave? Yeah, we do not want this anymore. Um, yeah. I feel like, who, who makes the Easy Bake Oven? Is it like Hasbro or something? Yeah. They'll yeah. probably like divert your attention. It's they're, also, yeah. They're yeah. very unhappy. They're not happy. They're like, oh, there's these people that uh, use their Easy Bake Oven. It was fun. Okay, cool. And they watch the video and they're like, take this down. <laughs> Copyright strike everything. I think you might have to go back to your f first pizza and take some off. You think? T just just because you, think you don't have that it? much left in the, the bowl. All right, fine. We're doing it, okay? It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. It's not delivery. It's disaster. <laughs> it's not that, delivery. Hey, that's got stick. <laughs> like this paste, that's got stick. Um, I feel like the first time I had DiGiorno. Now, it, right, this is let me. This is a, a caveat. I I like DiGiorno now, but the first time I had DiGiorno, oh my god, this is so slow. The first time I had DiGiorno, I was like pretty let down because I was like it doesn't taste like delivery pizza. Um, but I've come to like it for more reasons. Tombstone frozen pizza, for instance, is excellent. Tombstone? Tombstone. I don't know if anyone remembers is that. Is that what it's called? Here's the thing, this is why Tombstone is relevant. I'm, I'm bringing this full circle. What are you, okay. All right, Tombstone was actually the pizza sauce of the Lunchables pizza. It Ooh. was Tombstone pizza sauce. Is that okay. good? Yeah, Tombstone pizza sauce is good. All right. In Tyler's defense, this is wildly, wildly pasty. Yeah. <laughs> Which also is not really my defense because I am the one that prepped it. Yeah. So it could all just be a disaster that I have created. I'm making it worse, aren't I? Let's, 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 let's dole out the cheese off. Okay. Right. At this point, I feel like with your it's baking skills, you have the higher ground. Everyone's like, Sophia knows what she's doing. She's just dragging this dead Do I? Meat. Yeah. So let's All right. Just... Ready? Oh my God. That is upsetting. Here we go. It really is like one, like just like molten hush puppy that you're just like squirting on right now. Oh wow, that's oh, that rough. That looks good. That looks good. All right, it's gonna go in the oven though, right? So it'll maybe spread. It should melt. It looks like a demented cheese and cracker situation. It does. This yeah. is this is the charcuterie board from hell. <laughs> oh wow. That feels like almost like an Elle Mills esque video. It's like I threw a big fancy gala, but I served everyone easy bake oven meals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever wanted to eat cheese like toothpaste? Well, now you can. It's not a problem anymore. Isn't that what they say? You shrimp, shrimp? psycho. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Although, I feel like all of Troom Troom slash Blossom okay. slash Five Minute Crafts crafting abilities slash cooking abilities are putting us massively to shame, so we are in no position to talk right now. Okay, how, but, how it, do we... Feel about that. Here's what I would say, Saf. This is my expert opinion, okay? There is dough, there is glaze, there is sauce, and there is cheese in some order and in some distribution. I have a little bit left. Should I try and, no. Just put it away. <laughs> just, put, just put it away. Put the bag down. Put the bag down. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just move on. We never talk about this. This is the lost stream. <laughs> this stream will be this unlisted. This stream will not be re-uploaded. <laughs> you will never see this stream again. Okay, here we go. Should we do an action pl place it? Do you want to place it? Yeah, just let's go, let's, you know, just, here we go. Here they are. Yeah, look at this. This is, it. no, oh no. I think it's the right time for us to say that this video is not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> the other way, stop, the other way. What do you mean the other way? Is that, is that the right way to put it in? Oh. You're, you're on the other side. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> what if I just put it in the cooling tray for 12 minutes and it, they just came out looking exactly like they do right yeah, now? Yeah, that would be like top 10 anime betrayals of all time. The chat doesn't say anything. They're just like, don't say anything. Okay, we have a problem. They're too tall. They're too They're tall. Too tall. <laughs> What is even happening right now? All right, so let me just slowly squish them. All right, a graceful finger. Look at that. It's like kind of like when you make a, what's it called, um, creme brulee, and you have to smack the top of it to crack it and make the brulee, right? You're just That's delicately what, you're right. replacing. This is what it's That's like. That's what this is like. Listen, I think it's fair to say that we are all idiot sandwiches right now. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I saw, you know, I was watching TikTok, I was on TikTok, the talk, and uh, Gordon, on Ramsay, talk. Gordon Ramsay's on that thing, so maybe How do we, feel about we that? can do more failed cooking experiments and he can roast us digitally, at I least. I know. I would yeah. be so disappointed, though, if he didn't react to our Franken cake, but he did react to us terribly making an Easy Bake Oven pizza. That would be... I would be... As you, as you would say, mortified. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that not a, the correct usage of mortified? No, that is, that is the, I, that is I it. use it correctly. Oh, there you go. Okay, incoming. And place this guy in. Wow, this is so easy. Oh my God, I'm learning so much about, oh, I almost pulled off my microphone, sorry. Um, and I'm gonna push it through, right? Here we go. And we're halfway there. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. We're gonna get, oh, Ooh. I did it again. No, but you did a good job working in the Bon Jovi without the copyright. Yeah. That was good. That was there you go, good. BJ right there. Also, I'm not trying to put you on the spot about the mortified thing. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want it to be like an unspoken thing. I don't want to be the person who's, who doesn't tell you. I got it. You know? All right, so let's go on to the next round of caking. All right, so we're going to pretend that never happened, and we're going to go back to our cake. Yes. Woohoo! Ray said, I feel awful about this, but you should bake it anyway. <laughs> yes. Thank <laughs> you. It was Grace who said that? Ray. Gray? What's that thing that's like? Gray, you are not wrong. What's that thing that's like, keep calm, party on? Carry on. Carry on. It's the same, same energy, right? We're just yeah. going to keep easy baking on. Oh, look at this. Action shot. Oh, it's working. Are you, are you bringing it out? Oh. Oh, my. Oh, oh. Party central? Party central. Yeah, actually, it's, it's really not warm at all anymore. No? Okay, well, that's No, okay. it looks baked, but that's, I mean, like, good. it's been in the cooling drawer long enough that I can just handle it easily. That's good. You don't want the hot cakes, so then we can put icing onto it. Look at that! Not the worst! Uh... Eat your heart out, Julia Child. Julia <laughs> Child. <laughs> Julia and Julia. Leave Julia alone. <laughs> Leave <laughs> Julia alone. <laughs> All right, this is the pizza. Okay, yeah, what are we doing here? Not the pizza. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Would you feel that? I think that might have actually been Julia Child rolling over in her grave. Just, just so angry. Sending bad energy our yeah, way. Yeah, just don't. Julia and Julia. Soft watch that recently. You liked it, too. Because it, it came on Netflix. I didn't okay. see it when it actually came out. There's a lot of good stuff on Netflix right now. Legally Blonde is on Netflix. We watched that. That that's is a, true. That's Sorry, a, is my mic being crazy? Sorry. It's just me talking as we go here. If you want to use the cheat sheets off? I've been... This cheat sheet is wonderful. It's this the cliff notes of whatever that is. Over Hello, there. train. Hello. No, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have to make the frosting before making the second cake. Okay. No. What? Well, no. So the second cake involved with our red velvet is a right. strawberry, strawberry cake. This mix. is what we're gonna do. Yes. Why don't you focus on the mix? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this cake from the cake pan. Yeah. And put it to the side. We're doing things at the same time here, people. Okay. Um, so yeah, I can use the mixing thing, right? Mix, yeah, I got a thumbs up from Carly, people. Okay, um, so we have right here the strawberry cake mix, naturally and artificially flavored. This unit not labeled. I like how they say and artificially. Don't worry about it, guys. This is this is. Right I guess they're trying to get any point for not being like completely artificial. No, yeah, no, no, they have some natural. They got some natural in there. This is a natural cake mix. I'm gonna move Solvang right. out of the way. Solvang. See ya. Uh, do you want to give me an extra hit of coffee before we keep going? <laughs> you need it? I need more coffee You here. need your go-go juice, like Honey Boo Boo? <laughs> was that too much? Was that a bad reference? I'm no, sorry. I thought it was a good I'm reference. Sorry. I was going to spit out my coffee. I thought that... <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Solvang mug going away, guys. That's our first mug of the stream. We'll have more of them. Don't worry about it. Every stream, every Tuesday, new mugs, new excitement, new mortifying displays of in an easy bake baking. All right, oh, no, this cake is like very crispy. Okay. 
She's a crispy one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> um, but I am going to get her out anyway. Extra crispy, just the way you like it. Right? Any uh, Billy Madison fans out there? No? Okay. I, I support you. Thank you. I support you in the reference I don't understand. No worries. No worries. What on earth? What? Oh, I'm figuring it out. Okay, this could be fun. Okay. This could be a good oh, shot. Oh, you wanna get the action, the action deep panning? Yeah. Okay. You know, here's a here's a our here's a our channel factoid. When we were doing the deep panning of the Franken cakes, the 48 cakes, that was a Panning. nightmare. A nightmare night. That what was a bizarre thing that just happened. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's like the Kool-Aid man in cooked form. It's just like a weird, yeah. like somewhere in between a cake and a pancake and like a cookie. It's just all it's all of them, but none of them. So we cooked it with like a light bulb, okay? I think that that's you know. We get brownie points for that. Laureen says it looks like dried up ketchup. It does. Laureen said that? Laureen. Laureen. Laureen is on the money. Yeah. I was searching for the words. I thought you said chlorine, and I was like, mm. <laughs> That might not be their actual name. No, oh, wait, what am I doing here? Five teaspoons of water. Coming in here. Coming in hot. Okay, here we go. So. We were thinking we do some teaspoons, right, to get it going, and then I do a few more at the end to kind of bring home the bacon. Yeah, I think as long as they add up to the right number, yeah. when you add them is kind of up to you. Yeah. You know what actually I do find fun about baking is when you have to be like super particular with your dries. You know, like in that arena of baking when you're like, you have to put the right amount of baking soda in there and you're going full chemistry, that's kind of fun. But this thing smells incredible. This thing smells just... Oh, I smell it from here. Yeah, that smells just like strawberry milk juice. No, uh, syrup, yeah. Strawberry no. milk juice? <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of it? Um, yeah. No, um, it smells like oh. Nesquik strawberry milk. No, I got it. You know what this smells like? Strawberry pokies. Oh, it does. Yeah, strawberry pokies. That is, that's S tier. Are they called pokies or pockies? I don't know. Pokey or pocky. You know what I'm talking about. It's like the sticks that are dipped into like chocolate. P-O-C-K-Y. They're, they're a revelation if you've never had them before. They're, they're quite delicious. How, they're just, how do we feel about this? I, I'll allow it. <laughs> Carly gave a thumbs up. It looks good. Yeah. So we're gonna, move, we're gonna go with it. In the pantheon of human history, that is one of my favorite rack focuses. Just a heavily oiled up, easy bake oven. <laughs> whatever like, cos yeah, whatever cosmic force monitors all things created in the realm of filmmaking, they're like, what was that? <laughs> I think it's my fault for trying to show everyone what? I just got sprayed. With what? I, I, the extra water. The, easy, the, the, the batter came straight out at you. I'm taking issue with the word easy right now, <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like I'm being taunted by this thing. Well, I was saying I think that the, the focus thing is probably more on me because I was trying to show everyone like nothing. Yeah. Like just an empty pan of nothing. So yeah. Chris was like, wait, what? No, no, no. The, <laughs> what is this? The racking was excellente, okay? I liked yes. that, okay? I'm just saying that what was being presented was interesting, alarming. Um, I feel like, seriously though, like, if in my it, the clown it experience, I really do feel like it'd be, it would be an easy bake oven. I just, I just feel like this thing really stresses me out. Okay, anyway, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this in, right? Yeah, okay, cool. are you just, ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was so behind. No, no, you're good, you're good. Ready? Okay. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Here we go. Gloop in that. Tyler, in. you've gotten better in the few minutes we've been doing this. They call that improvement, people. I don't know 10,000 ways not to make a light bulb, but I do know two ways in which I could make an easy bake cake. You like that? That's I'll take it. Thomas Edison. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what Thomas Edison said. With the light bulb, right? The light bulb inside the easy bake oven, right? Yeah. You got it, you guys got it. This has got layers. Like this cake, this stream's got layers, okay? We're like a schoolhouse rock. This one, honestly, I will say that this batter smells actually amazing. Well, you can lick the spoon once I'm done. Because I got the spoon last time and I obliterated that thing. I went to town on that spoon. That spoon didn't know it was coming. It was actually a spatula, but um, it was a tiny spatula. So what's the, what's the chat saying? Are they, um, are they saying, uh, hey, 
Tyler, what's with you in the Easy Bake Oven? <laughs> For a while, everyone was just saying it's Pocky. <laughs> it's Pocky. Okay. I feel like, yeah, I'll take that. I, okay. I, I believe them. You, you have to count the pokey pronunciation is coming from the, you know, seven-year-old Tyler yoked up on, on sugar. <laughs> Melina says I'm Japanese. Americans say it wrong. It's pokey. Oh, that is, that's a, the biggest comeback of all time. <laughs> <laughs> biggest upset ever. <laughs> Hundreds of chats refuted <laughs> in one vicious strike. <laughs> 3-1 Golden State Warriors? I think not. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, getting back to the stream here, people. Um, I'm spreading this out. I actually, I will say I have improved, okay? Um, I am almost ready for the Great British, 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 the Great British Bake Off. Yeah. Right? Just as long, you just say it a few times faster and you'll, you'll get there. <laughs> they, that's like the prerequisite to be on the show. They're like, we need you to be able to promote the show. Yeah. So you have to be able to say the name. I'm like, I can't. I'm sorry. I speak fast, but not clearly. That's the story of my life. I know, I'm the opposite. We, 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 we speak I slowly speak and slowly, very... but clearly. Yeah. There you go. You can't have both. Okay, I think that's decent. Do you want to you wanna finish it off? No, I, I honestly don't even think, I think you did a pretty good job. I think job. it will bake into the pan. I don't know that it will. Okay. But Look at that. I like how this is coming together though. Cuz we do have the pizza in cooking. We have the the red velvet of the red velvet cake, you know, already finished and depanned. Now we have the strawberry one going in. I think we're frosting away. I would the land. <laughs> I would hold on saying things are going well until the pizza comes out and we can look at it. I'm like the Babe Ruth of baking, okay? I call my shot early. I point to left field. That's what I, right, right field. He was a lefty. All right, um, ready? Yeah. yeah We're going to put this cake in. Okay. Ooh, yeah. The great Bambino. What? All right, and then I push it. Tyler, tell me. Push tell it me. real good. Yep. No, you got to tilt it back. There it is. There it is. All right. It's in the oven. I like how Carly is like sort of like the flight flagged person. They're like, duh, duh, yep, you're good. <laughs> like, I'm standing right here and I'm watching Carly. I'm like, are we good? <laughs> and I do know what Carly's looking for. Oh, wait, okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, I also like that these Easy Bake Ovens are very mysterious. You like that just like, things happen? I kind of thought that the front would open or something. Like like a real oven or like you could look in. You mean that's not the front? This 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 cartoon decal? It's not the real I front. just thought you would see more. I know. It's a I feel like we did see more back in the day. Maybe they decided it was dangerous. It's too dangerous, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Cool. So we're in a a time. Is it on Candy Valley right now? There's cheese pizza in here. There is our second cake in here. How much time do we have left on cheese pizza? One minute. Oh, one, one minute. minute. Oh, that's a happening. weird amount of time. Well, no, what about the cheese? What about the frosting, Sophia? I know we could make the frosting for the and spread it on that one. Yeah. yeah. Look at All this. right. Um, we are running low on containers. No, we have one. We two. have two containers we have two. left. But do we have any spoons left? Oh, we have one here. We have a spoon. A spoon. We can double up the spoons with the frostings, though. That's true. Yeah, come on. All right, so we have to make now vanilla frosting and pink frosting. Okay. All right, this is pink frosting. Vanilla frosting mix for Tyler. So is one of them, what, what flavor is the pink frosting? I think based off of the picture that the pink frosting goes in the middle and the white frosting goes on top. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Wow. Look at that shot. Wow. Um, cool. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. What, what, are, what Can I see the cheat sheet? Of course. I'm actually boycotting the actual official instructions at this point. <laughs> one packet, one and a half teaspoons water. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually just trying to, I'm glad you read it to me, because I was just like looking at it and nothing was registering. I mean, this might be the, uh, like just the like, the Solvang coffee just kicking in at the wrong time. You know, how that works? Okay, got it. I uh, actually do know, I, 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 got, I feel you. Yeah. I think that our workspace is incredibly upsetting because it's like a mixture of like strawberry batter and like, on, R risen from the dead egg wash. <laughs> Reanimated egg wash. Satanic egg wash. Basically. As, as, as we've said, Sophia, the tagline of this show, okay, is no method, only madness, right? All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna just taste the strawberry batter. Yeah, you go for that. Oh God, look at this thing. Do you want to get an action shot? Nope. Oh, Soph's coming oh, to it. Oh, coming down. Soph's coming to it. 
And there's, that's the face. <laughs> that's a meme. <laughs> No, no good. No it's good. time to take the pizza though. Oh, pizza's coming. Stop, why don't you get the pizza? I'll get the pizza. While you uh, <laughs> shake off that taste. That was straight cough medicine. That was bad. What the heck? Sorry. Sorry. That was rude. I was so excited. It smelled so good. The yeah. other side. <laughs> no, on the spatula. <laughs> the other side of the spatula. Wait, but I, I go through this side though yeah, too, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, great. All right. Yeah, sorry, so I was, cool. I was wrong on both counts. <laughs> okay. I was just so taken aback by the... um. One and a half teaspoons oh, of water. That literally tasted like cough medicine. That's not good. Robitussin. Robitussin's the harshest, most hardcore cough medicine in my opinion. Children's Robitussin, to be fair. Like okay, a Okay, that's a little lighter. Like something that was like, like a flavored cough medicine. The thing with Robitussin, though, is it packs a punch. You know like the Mucinex guy? You know the Mucinex guy? Did I do that right? Uh, yes, I just did. feel like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just blacked back in what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? Um, okay, cool. Uh, great. So I put this in, and I'm gonna mix. Here you go. And then I'm gonna mix this guy. And you wanna do you wanna prep and get ready with the second frosting? Whoa. Sure. One and a half teaspoons. Is that is that right? That is right, isn't it? Yeah. This this. Oh yeah. I think I think it'll work. I think we're starting to get clumpage. Yeah. One and one and a half teaspoons. It smells pretty good. I'm like really excited to eat all this stuff. To be honest. Really, after my reaction about yeah. how the strawberry one tasted. More interested. Yeah, it's kind of like it's a cronut to me, right? It's a it's a rainbow bagel. This is your cronut. This is my cronut. Do they still make cronuts? Oh yeah. They do. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Chris is a big cronut fan. <laughs> Huge. It's the alliteration for me. Chris goes, "What? <laughs> Are you kidding how me? How dare <laughs> you? Do not." Do not blaspheme the name of Cronut <laughs> in my presence. Don't cite the dark magic to me. <laughs> I was there when it was written. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we said that, I think, in our most recent TikTok. And that does make me... I'm looking for some empty calorie viewing of movies. And I could watch a, a Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. I'm I am down. Could, I could go down that route. The I, only thing that makes me sad about the Lion, the Witch, and Wardrobe is that the rest of the... Like, like they sort of... I thought the one right after that was good, and yeah. then I never saw any more. They did not progress well. I think they the made series. one more. They made the Dawn Treader thing, I which mean, was, you know. C.S. Lewis just changed up the cast of characters too much. Too much? Yeah. They have the extra cousin, and, and he's annoying. Then at the end, they're like, Susan didn't come because she's old and she likes makeup now, so <laughs> she is no longer pure of heart. <laughs> Bye, Susan. Anyway, yeah. here's the pink frosting. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, yes. Pink frosting. There it is. <laughs> okay. Um, so once this is done, we're this is we're cooling the pizza. We are cooking the strawberry. We have the red velvet. We have this vanilla frosting over here, which I'm not going to taste, even though I am a notorious bowl liquor. Um, am I? Um, and uh, then we have this other this pink frosting going in here, which smells like. It smells like the other one. I think it is just vanilla. It's very sweet. It smells yeah. like confectioner's sugar. Do you want, is it the same amount a teaspoon and a half stuff? No, it's actually different. Is it? Yes. What's with the strawberry? Just one and one, one quarter teaspoon. One and one quarter. That's a particular measurement. I can, I can dole out the, you want to clean off this spoon stuff? Yeah. So that yeah. way you can reuse it? You want, you want to? You don't have to. You don't want no, to. I, I will. Okay, here we go. I mean, so, my other option is to clean off one that was used for the pizza, but I feel like that's not the right call. No, we never speak of those ever again. Okay, cool. How's the uh, how's the chat doing? Are they ex as excited for this meal as we are? <laughs> right, right now, they're worried about the pizza. The pizza is in the cooling chamber. Just so the pizza is in the cooling chamber. Yes. Worry not of our six pizza friends. Well, I mean, there are things to be worried about, but hopefully, it's in the cooling chamber. Other things. Unless to worry about. I really ruined it. Christy yeah. said they had a Chuck E. Cheese oven. Really? Yeah. And, and they were making the notorious Chuck E. Cheese pizza, or were they making other? Apparently, and they said the pizzas were awful. Oh. Okay, so. Well, we'll see what brand. happens here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. All right, I think this is the pink frosting, right? Yes. Oh, how are we doing with the um, the shoot? How are we doing with the strawberry cake? Is that that's still baking or? 
Yeah, there's about nine minutes on that. Okay, cool. <laughs> You've forgotten everything. I like how we had factoids also pre-planned for this video, but it's just been such <laughs> a roller coaster of emotions and of mixing that we haven't really gotten around to them. But we have factoids. We can get to them. We can do factoids as we eat, maybe. We can do them. You want to do them now? Because we're getting kind of that point where I, I think I need more water in this, to be honest. But that's what do you think? Do you want me to, while you mix, give some factoids? Yeah, why not? All right. Ready? Yes. Some factoids that we prepared about easy bake ovens. Oh, yeah. I have them screenshot. The total in. number of fatalities associated with easy bake ovens. <laughs> Wait, we actually, there is, we had some pre planned facts about how they were recalled at one point, but we uh -oh. decided it was too grisly, so oh, we're sorry, not sorry. talking about that. I, I was we are not sure talking the about casualties. Okay, never mind, never mind, I take that back. <laughs> I forgot about the whole toy recall market. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. You forgot about that? Well, they did it. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so our first easy bake oven fun fact. Um, in 2002, Hasbro made an Easy Bake Oven that was marketed towards boys. Look at that pink frosting lump. <laughs> um, it was called the Queasy Bake Cookerator. Oh, yeah. And baked things, things oh. like mud in crud cakes. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I'm trying to see if I recognize. Oh, I think I recognize that. Bugs and worms and drip and drool dog bones. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that's marketing towards the little brother that was Tyler. Wait, like, can I eat the dog bones? It's all edible. These are edible. Oh, that's great. It didn't really take off and was discontinued soon after its release. I think part of the reason for that is because there was like a, a also like a baking thing that was marketed towards boys called like creepy crawlers. Yes. But they weren't, and it was like an oven and you would like bake things, but they didn't turn into edible things. They were like, um, they, they were like bugs. They turned from like liquid into like jelly toys. I'm pretty sure my dad- Like squishy toys. That was one of those toys that I got where my dad exclusively did it and I sat like next to him while he was doing it. And probably nobody had fun. Cause it was just like one of those things where like, it was pretty challenging for like- Oh, you had it? I had it. I was just really young when it was- Tyler out. had everything. Yeah, but it was it was like, my dad had to like do it and like, I, I couldn't I couldn't make sense of it. The kids in the, the commercial for Creepy Callers, by the way, were like 13 and I was like six. So yeah. just to go to my, my defense. Um, in 2012, a 13 year old named McKenna Pope successfully petitioned for a gender neutral oven after receiving over 40,000 signatures as well as support from celebrity chefs. At the time, it was only available in pink and purple, despite earlier versions being in a wider variety of colors. Ooh, look at that. Wow, look at that. That's yeah. sleek. That looks like a Tesla. That it does, it, <laughs> that it is pretty futuristic. Send that thing to Mars, baby. Yes, so this gender neutral version was released a year later in black, blue, and silver. That looks like a car to me, honestly. That was cool. No, <laughs> that one's cool. If you look at that long enough and squint, you're like, is that the Cybertruck? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or like it that. does look like that. Yeah. Um, a little bit more about the history of the Easy Bake Oven. The first Easy Bake Oven hit shelves in 1963 and came in pale yellow and turquoise, usually resembling an actual conventional oven. Oh my God, look how cute. That is cool I throwback. love vintage commercials like I, that. I do. Wow, that looks serious. I feel like That looks like, like a serious, oh my God. That <laughs> looks like a serious oven. What I love is that even to this day, they rely on the hard punching. Look at that brother just going to town. That's yeah. not yours. You didn't easy bake that. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, since the beginning of time, little brothers have annoyed Actually, I, older I, sisters. I take that back. I relate to that little brother. You are. That is I you. ate something peanut butter related that I did no work baking back in the day. And I just, my sister, I think she gave it to me because I think it was kind of like a flex. She's like, I made this and I had it. Um, are we? I'm smelling some strawberry, by the way. You think we should poke that guy through? We still have four minutes. Oh, never mind. I, I think it, you're just smelling like it as it is nearing completion. It smells good. <laughs> you uh, could take the pizzas out should, if you want. Should we take the pizza out, sir? For... Um, I'm almost done with our our fa our, our factoids. Take so then we can just start eating. Factoid me out. You know, <laughs> just <laughs> building some suspense for what monstrosity will burst forth from our pizza oven. It's kind of like a xenomorph. <laughs> <laughs> But instead of chest bursting, it is a Easy Bake Oven. Yes. The modern one. Yes. Um, so the original Easy Bake Oven was originally supposed to be named the Safety Bake Oven. Okay. That's not fun. 
Yeah, Easy that Bake is much fun. better. Yeah. Um, and apparently Easy Bake ovens were much more expensive back then, which makes sense when you like see that ad and it looks like a serious situation. Um, at the time, it cost about $15.95, which apparently amounts to about $130 today. That is a pricey Whoa. one. Whoa, look at how, I mean, that is a serious situation. What are the chances we can get the literal OG Easy Bake oven and do a follow-up stream with that bad boy? Isn't that what, um, the chat was saying Trixie Mattel did earlier. I think so. Yeah. Duh, okay. Well, it's as long been as done. We, yeah. <laughs> but we, I mean, we could still do it. This has also. This been has done. also been <laughs> done. So we could do that. I am yeah. sort of interested. That's kind of cool. I just want to see it. Um, now, when it, when the Easy Bake Oven was first introduced, it used a pair of ordinary incandescent light bulbs as a heat source. Yes. In the early 2000s, the oven started using a true heating element similar to a conventional oven. <laughs> they officially stopped using light bulbs as heat sources in 2011 because they feared that newer lamp requirements would render their ovens obsolete, as light bulbs were not usually included in the box. Got it, okay. So, and then they were gonna, we're nixing the recall stuff. I like how they call Too it grizzly. real <laughs> heating tools. <laughs> a true heating element. True heating source, well that's. But yeah, that's, I think that's why you and I both thought there, it was a light bulb, but it's not a light bulb. That's not a Mandela effect. No, it, it used to be a light bulb. It's not Sinbad as a genie. Yeah. Isn't that like that, that's the core Mandela effect? Yes, that is. I think there's a marketing campaign. I don't think it's actually, there, there was something. it was just like an ad that everyone's remembering? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've, I've gotten to the root of it before, but I don't recall any of what I'm talking about. All right. All right. So, with some fun facts out of the way and our frosting prepped, shall we see what the pizzas look like? Shall we go for it? Shall we go for it? Yes. Eh? Incoming. Look at this. Look at this. Any luck? Every day. Oh. Here we go. Oh, they're touching the top. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> pull, 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 pull. There oh, it is. Okay. Why do they look the exact same? <laughs> <laughs> Why do they look like they spent no time in the <laughs> oven at all. No melting occurred. What on earth is this? No, no, no there's a crisp. That looks like a crisp. Okay, no, no, they're warm and the bottom looks like a cracker. Yes. <laughs> but they look otherwise unchanged. <laughs> Literally the same, 100% identical to when we first put them in. Paging the resident uh, Easy Bake Oven expert, i.e. the entire chat. Is, is this what this is supposed to look like? Has anyone ever- Tyler, done? I'm not an easy bake oven. I know it's not what it's supposed to look like. Look at this. Ready? What you ordered versus what you got. <laughs> that is a meme in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, well, I think we still, we gotta eat them. This is a lie. <laughs> Hasbro, you lied to me. <laughs> you sit I on the am throw of once lies. again Ja Rule. <laughs> I have been hoodwinked. Deceived. Billy McFarlane over here. <laughs> this is Billy McFarlane in plastic form. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, we should probably eat it. Yeah, without right? further ado. Oh, I think you can take that one out too. Or push, push it, it through, through to the cooling chamber. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. With this promising result, let's continue this process over here. Okay. Why am I so afraid that it's just gonna fly out when I start pushing it through? I am also nervous about it. It's because we can't see into it. No. I no. thought you would be able to see more. It's like all of the, it's like a pizza oven. The one of those ones where they like, really, they go in. But you can see into those. But they can see in those. These ones you can't see. I'm trying to say it's like that without the visual. Okay. Erica Cho says red flag number one, the cheese didn't melt at all. <laughs> Well, that is, that's your first red flag? I think, <laughs> I, I think that we had an inkling that um, it was not cheese a long time ago when it was a toothpaste that was being squirted onto the pizzas. Um, but you know, we'll we're gonna try them. Do we need the full Myth Mythbusters segment? You're like, no, the Easy Bake Oven cheese is not cheese. Is it, is my mic okay, Carly? Yeah. Okay, okay. sorry. Do you want to go in, Saf? It's uh, My mic is really sort of at a jaunty angle because I don't know how to put it on this shirt. So I've just been a little like, fidge oh, you're going. What, you want you want to go? Oh, yeah, I want one too. I've just been fidgeting with it. I feel like, honestly, there is a cracker uh, d dynamic here. I, I see like a baking. I, I think that some easy baking occurred. I'm not all down on it. Here we go. 
this is going to be uh, our, our cheers. Ready. Right? This is our, like, our... I'm going to stay, stay stationary, Tyler. You cheers me. This is our hors d'oeuvre. Booyah. Yes, cheers. it's like, it's an, <laughs> it's an amuse-bouche. Here you ready? go. Ready? Should we feed each other? Okay, ready? Yeah. No, how oh. do I do this? Yeah, feed each other. <laughs> I like it. I'm, I'm going to use the whole slice. Is that a bad one or a good one? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what she's going to say. It's not as bad as it looks. No, no. I think the looks... Oh, there's like a siren. <laughs> the no, siren don't is... Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. We had a call in about an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> um, the look is like a 1 out of 10. Oh, yeah. No, it, it looks 1. bad. 1.5 out of 10. The taste is like a 4 out of 10. Okay. It is still subpar. Yeah. It doesn't taste good, but you would think it would be horrendous. And it kind of tastes just like a neutral little breadstick. Kind of like breadstick with like a little bit of extra taste. Like a garlic knot with a bit of marinara sauce in it. I get slight potato ball vibes a little bit from the cheese. Yes, very starchy. It is, it is like a potato, which I kind of like in some ways. I think that if the entire airline community, corporate community, has no room to criticize this, because this tastes exactly like every airplane pizza you've ever had. If anything, I've never had pizza on an airplane. You know when they really throw the tomato sauce in there, the marinara sauce, a pasta? That's what it tastes like. They're definitely using the same thing. Whatever Easy Bake is doing, they're siphoning off some portion and they're giving the rest of it to the, the airplane industry. I agree that the marinara sauce is reminiscent of some type of airplane food, for sure. If you don't think of this as pizza, though, it really doesn't taste offensive. No. Like, it's not like, ooh, that's bad. Yeah. If you think you're going to have pizza and then you have this, you might be upset. But for, like, a snack, from what I remember of, like, kids' snacks... It's not the worst one that's out there. This is pretty good, I would say. Are you going to eat the rest of that? Because I'm, I'm... No. You, we're, we're sharing this, right? <laughs> I <laughs> had one. I, okay, okay I, I, I'm, I'm, I like it, actually. All right. um, I like this. I like when I taste things that taste like things I ate when I was a kid. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. When, like, I, there's, like, a certain burger flavor that tastes like my elementary school burger, and I like it. Oh, it's an action shot. Is that good? <laughs> here, I, I'll step in here. Ready? Action shot. I got another little zit on my nose. Uh, uh, hey, pretty good. Very starchy. I like it. Almost tastes like an, a semi-cooked tomato ravioli. Okay. Okay, you know like um, the types of pasta that is, are red? Like, yes. Like, so there's no sauce on it, but it has a vague tomato taste because it, like, is a red pasta. Yes. A red ravioli, semi-cooked. Maybe a fried red ravioli. You mean where the pasta is... Just the pasta. Oh, yeah. Like when, when the pasta the, okay. itself yeah. is red. Like that, that... And there's, like, a vague taste to it because it's a red pasta. The tomato pasta. Yes. Okay, I know what you're yes, saying. Yes, it kind of tastes like that. I will say that that third one was starting to hit its koi point. Where I was like, okay, I don't actually want any more of this. And think about how small they are. They're tiny. Yeah. For it to be hitting that point. No, yeah. They're, they're really small. Um, should we take the cake out? Yeah. It's in the, in the cooling chamber, right? Do you oh. want to finish this off or do you want to see them next to each other? Here, well, maybe we'll leave one. Okay, you leave one. You're not, that's yours, by the way. I just ate a little bit of free cheese. Samantha asks how it compares to a Lunchable. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think that it's almost no comparison that the Lunchable is superior. Because the Lunchable... You have more free reign. The Lunchable also is more like actual cheese. They give you an entire bag of cheese for you to It's like shredded you want. cheese. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just reaching in blind here. Let me see. I will say the marinara taste is about the same, but the cheese of the Lunchable is superior. You okay? Yeah, I got it. No, I, I think that um, the Lunchable also comes with like a Snickers bar. It comes with other things that you definitely want. Ow. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. I just want to get it a little bit more onto our thing here. Was it hot? It's hot. No, it's hot, yeah. I'm sorry. I think we just left the other one in for longer, so I was able to, like, handle it. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I just, I feel like I'm going to drop it, but all we can do is just to commit. It actually has some nice crunch on the outside, I think. Why do we keep making really crispy cakes? 
Why is that our thing? That's our thing, actually. That's our brand. It's crispy cakes. I don't think we want our brand. Actually, to do that. you know what's incredible is it. With it our smells Frank, good though. With our Franken cake, we made forty-eight cakes, and I think we did a pretty good job with almost all of them, minus maybe the angel food cake. We did not really. Well, we don't know what we're doing. We're not actual bakers. No, but I was saying in general, we did a good job with the cakes. I mean, uh, are you trying to contrast that to this experience where we did a bad job with everything? That is what I'm saying. I'm saying our brand is not to just burn the hell out of the cake. We've done a decent job with some cakes, but in this case, less so. So I feel like now, this cake situation is kind of like a, it's the dessert. On yes. Top of this, this pizza. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's oh. a balanced meal, Tyler. I'll have the pizza here. Wait, I was gonna leave, oh sorry, do you want it? I was gonna leave it so we could see one next to each other. Let's do it. So we can get the true, bef what you ordered, Yeah. what you got. Yeah. The only dynamic is with a really hot cake, it gets sometimes hard to ice Oh, them. I guess I'm supposed to ice this first. Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> I was like about yeah. to flop it right on. <laughs> Which way, should we put the red velvet goes oh. with like the white pink frosting. frosting goes in the middle. Okay, so this is going first. I'm like first. 90% sure. Okay, here we go. Hold on. It's okay, it's too late. Yeah, pink frosting in the middle. Committed to it. Pink frosting in the middle and then white frosting on top. Okay. The pink oh, wait, hold on. The pink cake goes on the bottom. Oh. oh that's okay. Yeah, I just sandwiched it Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. yeah, no worries. Hey. I didn't understand that for a second. No worries, no worries. All right. All right. But anyway, the Lunchable, did I say this? Lunchable marinara is similar to this pizza marinara, but the cheese of the Lunchable is superior. I mean, because it's real cheese. Yeah. I can't believe it's real cheese, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? I can't believe it's not cheese. I can't believe it's not cheese. That's the thing, right? The product is, I can't believe it's not butter. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was wrong. I think you were just kind of like iterating off of it. Yeah. You know, you were just like bouncing ideas around. Yeah. Workshop and some ideas here, people. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job spreading this thing. Why, why is this just as upsetting as the pizza? <laughs> why is this also very upsetting to watch? Because it, it, it's upsetting, yeah. It's, sorry, I hiccuped. Um, sorry, I hiccuped again. Okay. It's the cheese. <laughs> it's, the, it's hitting it's, me in a weird it's the way. It's pizza, it's coming for revenge. It's not going down well. No. Even though it was like, you know, had a radius of like less than a centimeter. It wasn't, it was too much for me. It's not the size of the disgusting pizza. It's the size of the fight. <laughs> that it puts up <laughs> yeah. as it travels through your bowels. I know you can do a better job than me at this. I'm doing I don't know job. if that's even true. No. Well, I don't know. Yeah. It's I'm just trying to cover some of the patches. It looks like a deranged Pop-Tart right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do actually know what you're saying. And Pop-Tarts are actually kind of deranged. They've done so many things with Pop-Tarts, you know? Pop-Tarts are kind of deranged. Yeah. There's a little bit more icing in here. You want a little bit more? I mean, that's okay. Yeah. All right, wanna flip this guy on? Yeah. Okay, ready? Is it hot or can you do it? As I can do it, Chris, you wanna get the, this is, this is truly the action shot of the video. Come on, stick the lid. Should I do it like here? That is crispy. Or do you want it this way? I don't care. It, that way, it looks cuter. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. I think we should trim off the edge no matter what. Okay. You want to trim off the edge to kind of give the nice cross section? No, we can also just cut it into like a few different cakes. Oh, you want a vanilla frosting that bad boy? Mm-hmm. I can do it. Here, I can clean off the spoon and just go with it. We're eating it. Oh yeah, I guess we're yeah, eating yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, no! But no one else is eating this, so I guess it's fine. And I've made out with you before, so I guess it's fine. You have made out with me. <laughs> I like this. I don't have a problem with this flavor. I mean, the frosting is probably one of the least upsetting things about this whole stream. This whole shebang? Yeah. Because I mean, it, 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 although it doesn't seem awesome, it's sort of close to how one might make frosting. You know, like what? wetting sugar. I do think this is actually kind of a fun thing. We have something that could be loosely framed as edible here, you know? I also have the sprinkles. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, they came with sprinkles. Did you not see the box? I, I, no, I did not look at anything related to the box, to be honest with you. Did you also just black back in? What? Sorry, I was just smelling the onion candle. <laughs> What's going on? Where have we been the last couple weeks? Yeah. It's funny how like we've been doing, cause, cause for some of the videos we've been filming for the main channel, yes. I would say they are moderately crafty. Right. They have like a, oh my God, just leave it. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're just <laughs> they back. have like a crafting element. And none of that is ch translating here. It's not, no, not even a little bit. Not, none of it is translating. That's good. It's like a toaster strudel. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, 
Jesus. All right. All right, Tyler. Yes. We're going to cut off the edges now. I'm going to chop it in. Yeah. What I was going to do actually is I was just going to chop it into a few cakes. Let's do it. Um, I think that, well, let's try six cakes, right? Yeah. How would I do that? Like this? Um, do it like, okay, you can do that. Oh. It's got an interesting texture. A little crunchy? Oh, I'm no. doing eight cakes. A little, a little further over. Yeah, there you go. No, I'm doing eight cakes. Oh, you want to do eight? Yeah. Cool. Because I want them to be small and cute. Little tinies. What do they call yeah, that again? Exactly. Petty fours. Petty fours. Yes. Petty eights, baby. All right? I don't think petty fours have to, well, maybe they do have to come in fours. That would make sense. <laughs> that, it might just be a completely different word, though, you know? All right, and then just down the middle. All right, down Broad Street here. Here, Ty, will you do me a favor? Yes. I thought I just cut through the plate. I didn't. Um, just grab another one of these little plates. Okay. Okay. Oh, these are nice plastic plates. Are these real? These are real plates, actually. What am I talking about? There are some real ones down there and some some plastic ones. Right, well, I grab something. Um, these are nice plates. All right, here we go. The frosting is good. Okay, so where are our sprinkles? Do we lose them? Do they just slip into the upside down. What? What? They're right here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry. Not bad. <laughs> All, All right. right, here are the cakes. You want me to place them? I'm gonna just show, here's some cute ones. Okay. Here's a cute one. Oh, it's not the worst. It's not great. It's not that bad. It's not the worst. All right, and then here's a couple more. Here are the cute ones. This is not gonna be the most alarming, as or as alarming as the pizza, what you ordered, what you got. Oh, that's there four. you go. Those are the cute four. ones. Those are the cute ones. Ready? These Incoming. are the demented ones. Oh, it's cute. When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's amore, right? That's the that's yeah. the sort of the narrative. If we were to be on Food Network Star and we had to tell the story, first off, that would never happen. Right. <laughs> we are disqualified. We've been blacklisted. For good, yeah. But no, if we were, finish your joke. Then we, we, we would, this would be our story, right? Because we've been watching Design Star for a amount. And like you have to kind of have a narrative behind right. the room you've designed. We started baking yeah. at 30 with yeah. our Easy Bake Ovens. Yes. <laughs> and now we're here. Yeah, but the story of this meal is that there's a delicious pizza pie. Oh, I see, right? I see. See, oh. when the moon hits your eye, like a big I pizza pie. I thought you were saying like our personal narratives, no, no, like no. for us. Our narratives, if we from here went on to Food Network. No, Star. no, we're leading with the Frankie. Oh, cake. I see what you're saying. Our, yeah, the narrative our... of, the, of the meal. Like, why did we make this meal for, for you, the, the audience? The vision for the audience. Absolutely. Love pizza. Lady and the Tramp, love it. Except they don't eat pizza, they eat meatballs. Is that song actually, though, the song? That you're selling Bella Note, right? Oh, you're right. That's and not this the song. Is big, when the moon hits your eyes, like a big pizza pie and some more. All right, you're right. What so I'm ch- completely wrong. What does the chat think of our plating here? Because I think it's pretty good. This is, I mean, it's probably the best thing we've done so far, to be honest. In life. Uh, Maram says it looks like Valentine's Day cakes. Little cute babies. Mara said that? Yeah. Mara, you are right. And Imogen said to make goth ones next time. Okay, let's If do- only they made, like, goth cakes for like the little goth children out there. Like, hey, are you over this Valentine's Day cake? Here's one with bats. Do you wanna do the uh, before and the after? Or the, we can do oh, that. Yeah, you can do it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna This hold. one is much less upsetting. Yeah, here we go. This is what you ordered and what you got, but in sort of reverse order. Should we uh, zoom them out a little bit? There you yeah. go. Yeah. That's not so bad. That's not the literal worst. And now let's do these bad boys side by side. Ah. This, this, do you want a, a plate for that pizza? You want we to plate a, it? We have a cute little red plate. Oh, we do have a cute little red plate. Let's give the little pizza a fighting chance here. Is One it, single pizza. The little pizza that definitely couldn't. Um, no, it's it's delicious. There's a little bit of a rim on that plate, so I made it. Uh, there we go. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> That's our full meal. We couldn't wait for dessert, so we ate all of our all of our dinner. Okay, so we, should we should we dig in here? I'll finish this bad boy off. All right, finish now it. Now that we've seen them side by side. That doesn't age well. That it cold sounds pizza's not weird. Great. Yeah. When you bite into it, it sounds like you're eating like a dog biscuit or something. It it's sounds soggy. like a dog breaking a milk bone in half. Queasy bake oven. Uh, we certainly 
made a queasy bake oven worthy concoction. They offer the dog biscuit. Okay, should we go in for these bad boys to finish this off? And you know it's just the same formula, but just in a different shape too. Well, we do know that. Yeah, alrighty. Here we go. Ready? Like our wedding cake, we should definitely feed this one to each other. Right? Incoming, face shot. Hello. And cheers. Cheers. I didn't really do that, I forgot to bite down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. That is good. Mm -hmm. I really like that. That is really good. Mm -hmm. It is very sweet. Mm -hmm. But that is sweet joy. I didn't realize you were going to feed me the whole thing. Sorry. I thought I was going to take like a dainty bite. Yeah. <laughs> and then you shove the rest um, into If my we face. Uh, redo our wedding, uh, I would like our official flavor to be Easy Bake Oven. Imagine <laughs> if someone requested that of an actual baker, how many of these things it would take to like feed a wedding. I think you just came up with a video idea. <laughs> Making I fed all of my wedding guests Easy Bake Oven food and they left. <laughs> what flavor would you like? I would like an Easy Bake Oven Ultimate Oven, Easy Bake Ultimate Oven, Red Velvet, and Strawberry Cake Refill Mix. I will say these do taste very, very, very good. I'm like gonna eat the rest there of There is something a little uncanny valley about them where I'm not sure, like I don't know if it tastes like cake. Like I don't know if it tastes like the texture of a cake. No. It is somewhere in between like a thick cookie, a brownie, and a cake. It's like kind of a little flat. Yes. A little thin. Um, but it just tastes like strawberries. And I'm really digging the crunch. Yeah, there is a crunch. Yeah. Our burning has come. It's added something. It's added it. For sure. Indes indescribable quality. It has added something. You can see that little burnt edge, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that burnt edge. That's a really burnt edge, actually, yeah. Uh oh. The camera's dying. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna be be second camera people. Yeah, we're uh, on the second camera here. <laughs> hey guys, All right, over here. Ready? I'm gonna eat half. I'll feed you the rest. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Mmm, yum. I still like it. Mmm, yeah. I like that a lot. Well, are we at that point where we should start to wrap it up? Give our qualitative takes. Yeah, I think that we're done now that we've eaten everything there is to eat, basically. Because I got some thoughts about this. And I'll summarize them with Give me this. your thoughts. This one's also very burnt. As you can see, this one, that is not supposed to be that cut. Well, actually, that is the right color. <laughs> I think this thing, as a like thing you can do to bake stuff, is pretty awesome. Like, this is not bad. This is fun. It I, is fun. I, we had a good time. It does still have a lot of batter anxiety. Mm. Right? Where you, they get stuck to the spoon and stuff, and I don't like that. But, mm. oh, hey, we're back. What's up, guys? Um, well, we're, we're back. We're blue, but we're back. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We'll be blue. I don't know. Oncoming, Unless you can change the settings live. No sweat. Oncoming stomachache aside, <laughs> so I can feel it coming. I had a good time doing the Easy Bake Oven. I Absolutely. had a really good time. Yeah. I just went down the wrong windpipe. But Are you okay? <laughs> Should I take over the summary? <laughs> okay. Overall, I think that we actually had a very good time making this stuff. Um, I thought that the, the sweet cakes turned out pretty well. Uh -huh. um, I would say that the pizzas didn't turn out very well. No. Through a combination of our lack of easy baking prowess and also, is it prowess? Prowess? No, sem no semblance of competency. Um, and also just because I just, Cheese paste is just an upsetting thing in general. It's hard to it's hard to come back mm -mm. from cheese paste, you know. No. Um, but as someone who never had one of these things as a kid, I am very happy to finally have two in my possession. I'm very excited about them. The only thing I wish is I just wish we could look in. Yes. I would love to see the baking process. That's my one like big lack, minus the fact that like you know the pizza was. A bizarre cracker. Yes. Excuse me. You want me to take over now? Excuse me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, but overall, I really had a good time. Me too. So before we sign off, is there anything else that the live chat thought? Are yeah. They alarmed by something? They are happy with our baking prowess. Everyone um. left after the pizza. <laughs> After the pizza, everyone left. Yeah. Gina was alarmed by the way it clinked when it hit the plate. Oh yeah, the pizza. It, it is. Ready? It's just yeah, the pizzas turned into biscuits, like this, crackers, like straight up crackers. It's a brick house. 
it, this is the brick house. Yeah. So it is hard. Yeah. But the crunch factor, although surprising, can be welcomed. Yeah. Oh, should we wrap this bad boy up? All right. Unless there's anything else coming from the chat after we, like 20 seconds after we solicited. No. <laughs> okay. No. They're gone. They're gone. All right. Well, anyway, so <laughs> if you liked this stream, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more streams like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Yes. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us today. Um, also, thank you to Chris and Carly for some masterful, like, switching between the cameras as they were dying just now. That was a situation that happened. Yes. Um, so, yeah, we'll be streaming every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Come hang out with us. Um, it, I mean, it, it'll be a weird time every time. It'll be weird. I can't promise it'll be good. I can't promise you'll like it, but I can promise you it'll be weird. The word is chaos. <laughs> <laughs> madness. Madness. No method, only madness. And don't worry, we are also filming stuff for the main channel too. That's not Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> It's going to be fun. It's happening. Awesome. All right. Tyler already said all of the things. Um, so do we have social media graphics? Oh, we do. All right. So if you're interested in seeing more of us, here are our social media handles. Yeah. Do we have a TikTok graphic? Nope. No TikTok graphic. But if you are interested in our TikTok content, you can find it at Sophia J. Nygaard on TikTok. All right. Two syllables. I think that we should clean up and... and self-reflect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you guys a next time.